Have you ever wondered why less than 1% of people achieve success by the time they're in their 50s? We'll get to that in a moment. Today, I stand in front of you not just as a speaker, but as somebody who's faced the harsh realities of pursuing dreams and navigating the uncertain territory of entrepreneurship. My journey in the last 14 years, marked with setbacks, but eventual triumph, led me to discover a framework that transformed my life. A framework that I now call the 3M Golden Triangle. Allow me to take you back in time, a time when I joined my family business back in India, after completing my undergraduate degree in engineering. Armed with unwavering confidence, I stepped into a world my parents had mastered, a thriving business in the sectors of home goods and apparel exports. Inspired by that relentless work ethic, I delved into the retail sector. Something that I'd been planning for many, many years. However, what followed was not the success story I had envisioned. In just two short years, the business I'd poured my heart into came crashing down. Confused and disheartened, I found myself in the depths of despair. I couldn't understand how my calculations and efforts could lead to the demise of an entire business. As financial pressure mounted, I spiraled into a state of depression. I really thought I'd hit rock bottom. It took me years to come out of that dark pit. But during that journey, I stumbled across a transformative framework for success. I didn't realize it then, but those tough years were like a furnace that shaped the principles I'm about to share with you today. So let's embark on a journey together, a journey through the 3M Golden Triangle, a journey that has the power to unlock your potential. Now let me ask you, how many of us here have faced setbacks that seemed insurmountable? I certainly have. But within those setbacks, I, within those setbacks, to be very honest, I discovered the keys to resilience. And that is something I will share today. But before I uncover what I discovered, I'd like to share four principles that I learned from my mentor that's got me to this TED Talk today. Principle number one, willingness to learn and willingness to accept change makes a person teachable. Think of it as two sides of the same coin. Now, to be honest, I stopped being teachable after university. I thought I've learned enough, and now it's time for me to execute what I know with confidence in my back pocket. Boy, was I wrong. After my first business collapsed, it took me years to pay my debts off when I was between India and Africa and a few businesses but I finally embraced that I need to learn. My willingness to learn and willingness to accept change shot up. What happened here? I became teachable. They say, when the student is ready, the master shall appear. Principle number two. I knew very well that I need to upskill myself to be able to survive and thrive in the world of international business. So I started reading books, I started listening to podcasts. I dived into subjects I had no clue about. But too many cooks were spoiling the broth. I, I lacked that one person who could show me the light in my journey. Luckily, I met my mentor. So who do you listen to? Someone who's been where you are and has what you want. Principle number three. There are four stages of learning any new information. Unconscious incompetence. I don't know what I don't know. Conscious incompetence. I know that I don't know. Conscious competence. I can learn what I need to know. And unconscious competence. This information is now a part of me and I can retrieve it as and when I want. Let's break this down with my example. 
As a science student in school and an engineer in university, I lacked formal training in finance. I was unconsciously incompetent. When I dived into the world of business, a realization kicked in that business is a numbers game. I became consciously incompetent. I read up on finance. I hired a tutor. I even took classes from an ex-stock broker over the weekends for many, many months. I became consciously competent. And what followed soon after? I learned enough, good enough, that I started trading stocks in the Indian stock market profitably. Principle number four. Now, as I was upskilling myself in my home and my workplace, I couldn't face the world due to the lack of confidence. What my mentor told me completely changed my life. He said, to know and not to do is not to know. It's all about action because action creates momentum. And he was right. Now today, I'd like to introduce the 3M Golden Triangle, a model made up of mind, mentorship, and mistakes. These elements work synergistically together to put you on the path to success. Compound this over years and you're unstoppable. So let's start with the top of the triangle, shall we? Your mindset. Now I know you must have heard this a thousand times before, but let me take you on a journey. Our conscious and subconscious minds are intricately tied together. The information that we send to our subconscious mind through the act of repetition becomes ingrained and that's how we perceive reality. What's more amazing is that we think in pictures. Let me show you what I mean. Now, whatever you do, don't think of a pink elephant. You thought of a pink elephant, didn't you? But what really happened here? Did your mind spell it out? Or did you get a vision something like this? Exactly. Our minds generate images. When we focus repeatedly on an idea, our mind etches a picture. Let's take another example. Let's say you focus really, really hard on, let's say, a black BMW. A few days later, you might start noticing more of them on the streets. Why? because you've basically handed those images to your subconscious mind and it'll retrieve this information more quickly from the real world, especially for you. Different people see different things. The same holds true for negative information and negative thought patterns as well, which brings us to an important truth. Our conscious minds operates like a software, converting thoughts into images with incredible power. Now, luckily for us, we can hack the software to our advantage. By putting in positive ideas daily, it generates helpful mental imagery that translates into constructive real-world actions. Now, understanding this information, we're suddenly opening doors for us instead of being trapped inside of them. But you know, the mind alone is not enough. We need guidance. Guidance specifically customized to our dreams. And that's where the left side of the triangle comes in, mentorship. Now, a few years ago, my mentor, he handed me a few seeds. And he asked me, what do you see? I looked at it and I said, I see seeds. He laughed and this ordeal went on for a few seconds. And then I asked him, what do you see? He said, I see plants and trees and a forest, a tier one ecosystem that's giving rise to a tier two ecosystem where wood is being used for construction and food is being consumed. The lesson here was depth of vision. That's what a mentor can unlock for you. A mentor gives targeted advice to realize our potential. It goes beyond just sharing knowledge and covers these three aspects I'd like to call the three C's of mentorship. Coaching by investing that time, cheerleading by instilling confidence and providing course correction as and when we need it. They become personally invested 
in our growth. Now, why would a mentor do that, you may ask? This is how information has been transferred from generation to generation. When we get older, we realize our time on this planet is limited. And we find true happiness by guiding people, the next generation specifically, not for the purpose of making money, but to scale one's experience by adding value to humanity. Remember principle number one? Are you teachable? Now, a few years ago, when my business was struggling, I had the great benefit of mentors. One of them advised me to convert my problems into systems. And that's exactly what I did. What happened? Productivity rose. Do you remember principle number two? Who do you listen to? Like Sir Isaac Newton put it, having giants to stand on the shoulders of, we expand our horizon. A great mentor broadens our vision, nurtures strengths, and spotlights areas that we need to tweak in our lives. Think of a mentor as a doctor that gives an optimal plan for success and happiness. Now, it's great to have self-confidence, and it's great to have support from others. But we still need guideposts to be able to show us a way. And that's where the left side of the triangle, sorry, right side of the triangle comes in, mistakes. Now, how many of us here read books but don't apply the learnings? That itself is a mistake. You can read 100 books a year, but if you don't remember the information or don't apply the learnings, it's of no use. Read one book, apply the learnings. Elon Musk has always said, the information is there in the books. Start is the biggest stop. When we make mistakes, it's proof that we're learning and growing. Every mistake has invaluable DNA for improvement. So next time when you make a mistake, don't get too upset. It's all a part of learning. Even great leaders and visionaries like Steve Jobs and Nikola Tesla failed big before they succeeded. Why? Because success is not a straight line. Mistakes challenge rigid thinking. They push us to question our beliefs, things that hold us back. And ladies and gentlemen, this frees us up for more creativity, flexibility, and inner strength. Success is a journey not a destination. Remember that. And it's who you become in this journey. Talking about success, the last thing that I want to share with you today is the success loop. The key word here is small success. Small success creates confidence. Confidence creates action. Action leads to results, and results create more success. Simple isn't it? Now, I'd like to leave you with some tips on how to apply the 3M Golden Triangle strategy, tips that you can apply in your daily lives. Every morning, visualize desired outcomes vividly for a few minutes. Replacing negative tapes with empowering movies can accelerate amazing results. You know, there was a there was a study done at Stanford even to prove this. Public, role pu public figures can act as great role models, but identify someone accessible who can forge a personal bond by regular check-ins. When they invest their time, wisdom, and care in you, that's all the difference. Take calculated steps. Don't worry too much about making a mistake. Next time when you fail, neutralize it by telling yourself that it's an experiment that didn't go as planned. Analyze what to tweak, extract lessons, and realign positively. That creates confidence. Now, when these three legs lock together, mixed with other success skills, your potential for fulfillment multiplies exponentially. So ladies and gentlemen, it's now my turn today to ask you, who do you listen to? Think about it.
It's a crucial question to unlock your potential. Thank you.